You just leave all the hard work to Sam and Jodie then, Dean, yeah? While well, you sort out your hard work. That's Wait. Fred. That is the guy. That guy looked like the dragon guy, was it not? What's up? This thing is taking people that break their vows, right? Yeah. Dean and Susie, been over an hour. Right. I gotta say, I really miss that. I miss it already. No. <laughs> But they didn't, they didn't take him? Interesting. Oh, that makes me feel sick. Oh, so he did take them. Where are we? Hell. Hey. Hey. Neighbor see anything? Flash of blue. Huh. You sure Dean was here? Oh, yeah. And I think he crossed someone off his bucket list. <laughs> We tried. There's no escape. Are we gonna run out of air? I don't think so. Somebody wants us to die nice and slow. And then it's gonna take us. Just like it took Pastor Fred. What took him? Virgins. Fire. Sound familiar? Vesta, Roman goddess of the hearth. Oh, it's another god. Wait, so fire's connected to virginity? Yeah, the girls had to be pure because fire is the symbol of purity. Huh. Okay, as long as Vesta's fire was kept lit, Rome received a good harvest. The virgins had to stay celibate for 30 years. If they broke their vows, they were buried. 30 years? You what? Son of a... Wow, what's wrong? I took my phone. Luckily, I keep a spare. With no signal. Come on, Mars. Called it. <laughs> Why is he looking at her like that? Vesta was often enveloped in a blue halo of light, which she could control at will to disorient, to maim, oh, or to kill. Okay, what about some way to kill her? Uh, a weapon or, or something? Dean? Sam! Oh Sam, my hey. god. Hey. Maybe I didn't call it. Hey. Dean, hey. say it again, I can't hear you. Some kind of... Dean! Lost him. Listen, is there, is there some kind of train station around here or something? I, I could have sworn I heard a whistle. Don't, Neil. Please, don't. Don't what, Neil? Just mind your beeswax, pal. Hey. Hey! Listen, we're all stuck down here together, so you got something to say, you say it. Okay, look, whatever that fireball thing was, it's taking the weakest, and I am not going to be next. So the way I see it, her leg's busted anyway. We serve her up, it could buy us some time. Screw you, Neil. Busted leg? Try a sprained ankle, okay? Nobody's serving anybody up. We are under the gallows. All of us. Give it honor. I'm gonna save the rest of our necks, unless do you have a better plan? Maybe I do. Maybe we'll give him you. Oh, well, you don't like that idea? Then shut up. Here we go. APM train out of uh, Sioux Falls, 79 miles. What's five miles east of Hartford? Anything? Ah, uh, pasture, mostly. No, the old Wimmer farm. Wait, anything on a weapon? Uh, oak, stained in virgin blood. Where are we gonna get a virgin? I'm a virgin. I think we need the real McCoy here, Sam. You need what? Your blood. Just a dab. 
Pagans use blood. Are you pagans? What? Pagan? <laughs> no, look, it's for a weapon that- You are in a house of God. I'm calling the cops. Mm. Oh. I am the cops. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm just use a syringe, lady? but you know. Wipe your nose, dear. <gasps> She's such a badass. You broke too, huh? Guess I'm not as strong as I thought I was. I mean, it is Dean. I think everyone would cave for Dean. I told you. It's back for one of us. What are you gonna do now, right? You should have listened. No, I mean, it's Sam. Shut up. Jody! Sam! Dean! We're here! We're gonna get you out! Jody! I found it! Sammy! 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 Hey, Dean, we're here! We're gonna get you out! Smack. Oh, I thought it was gonna hit him over the head or something. Sammy! Down there! Sam! Oh, it's the old woman! It's the old woman from no, the. No. Oh, no, it's not. It's. I got it wrong. Should have probably called that. My bad. <laughs> My prediction game is not the one. <laughs> this is how a goddess acts? What? I'm sort of new to this, but you know, Roman deity burying people alive in a barn? Sort of pathetic, don't you think? Oh. It only got pathetic when I started having to do it myself. <clears throat> oh. I figured if you can't beat him, join him. Join him. <laughs> oh. Oh. They used to beg to stay pure for me, and now I have to drag them, kicking and screaming. You have to make your move now, yeah. Jodie. They're not even real virgins. You're a real charity case. <laughs> oh no, sweetheart, this isn't charity. I take what I deserve. And when those trollops are about to die, soaked in their juicy fear, I eat their livers. Now, normally I like them weaker, but let's just call this a hunter's exception, shall we? Sure. Oh, this that is was how not a the goddess one. acts. Oh my gosh, she actually stabbed her? Oh my gosh. What is wrong with you? What? Your liver. It's it's no good. His liver's no good? All duct tape and safety pins inside. How are you alive? He's that bad? He's that bad? So Zeke is literally the only reason why he's up right now. I thought he was already healing. If he What I miss? Everything. No. Yeah, I tell you boys to stay out of trouble, but what's the point? Mm -hmm. No. They should bail me out. Oh, what can I say? I'm getting the hang of this. Mm, drive safe. Thanks. Drive. Don't get the door for me or anything. With one arm. Are you mad? Oh, they're all automatics over there, aren't they? What's up? What if there is something wrong with me? There is something uh -oh. really wrong. You just crapped out, man. You need some rest. Oh, it's more than that. I mean, Vesta said I was practically dead inside. Oh, and she's in the circle of trust now? Why would she lie? It's probably the trials, okay? Probably some sort of a, you know, after effect. It's not like you're bouncing back from the flu here. I mean, you're glowing with freaking trial juice. I don't know. Well, what else would it be? Why does it have to be something else? It's always something else. We're always scraping to find some other explanation when maybe it is just me. Oh, come on, Sam. I'm a mess, Dean. You know it. And sometimes I feel like uh, maybe I'm never going to actually be all right. You will. All right, because whatever it is, we'll figure it out. Or this is just the way I am. I can't. I can't let you put this on yourself. Is he going to tell her? Listen to me. It's not you, Sam. Oh, Zeke stepped in. I wouldn't do that, Dean. He deserves to know. Your brother is not ready. If he ejects me, he will not make well, it. Well, damn it, Zeke, how much longer we gotta keep playing this? Not much longer. I promise you that. 
Seems as though you've got a lot to work on, though, what? Zeke. What? 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 What's not me? No, he's got to think on his feet now. Nothing. I just uh, I meant that if there is something wrong, it's not your fault. We'll deal with it. Just got to have a little faith, Sammy. Sam know he's lying. It's horrible. He hates it, doesn't he? He hates lying to him. And he's put him in this situation. Okay, so another episode down. And to be honest, I didn't think that one was that good. I feel like the last scene really saved it. Also, Jodie being in it was really nice. I always like seeing Jodie in there. As an episode overall, not really that good. It was a bit flat, to be honest. There was some really funny moments in there, but other than that, I just, yeah, it wasn't really my cup of tea. However, that last scene was definitely worth it because we had some one-on-one -on -one with the boys again, which I always love those sort of conversations. You really could tell that Dean was struggling lying to him. The fact that Zeke stepped in there and was like, don't you do this. This is not the right choice. Sam will kick me and then we'll probably die. Obviously, I know that every time that Zeke has stepped in, it's taken him longer to heal Sam. However, the way that that goddess sort of worded it was that he was a complete mess inside. What is Zeke doing? Come on now. Like, you are on the clock as well. You don't want to be in there as much as Sam does, yet it's everything's taken forever to, to heal. And Sam's really tired now as well, which worries me. It makes me think that Zeke isn't getting anywhere at all because at least right at the beginning he was like i'm fine i feel great actually and then now he's like oh i'm pretty tired so maybe zeke's taking a little too much i don't know it worries me though it definitely worries me and you could see that sam was really doubting himself there and his health and his strength and oh yeah it's a tough one it really is but hopefully we'll find out more about that as well. But yeah, other than seeing Jodie, nothing really happened too much. But it wasn't a boring episode, don't get me wrong. I still enjoyed it. It is just, we've had better episodes this season for sure. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please give this video a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe, you know, if you want to, but there's no pressure here. This week, I'd like to give a very special shout out to Kayla Waters. I want to thank you for supporting me over on my Patreon and for giving that lovely comment last week. During this self-isolation time, it is really rough for everyone and the fact that you said that my reactions are really helping you and becoming the highlight of your week, I just wanted to say seeing your comments is definitely the highlight of mine as well. So I want to thank you for that and I hope you continue to enjoy my content for Furthermore, please everyone feel free to check out some of my other videos, plenty on YouTube and Patreon. I also have a PO box. All my links can be found in the description below or the about me on my Patreon page. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope to see you all again soon for another video. Bye guys.